Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. Today we are going to learn how to create a pull request in UiPath GitHub, get it reviewed by a code reviewer or solution architect and merge it into the main branch. So let's get started. First, let's understand about the pull request. Pull request is a crucial part of collaborative development. It helps ensure code quality, facilitate teamwork, and maintain a clean project history. Understand this in a layman language. Imagine you are working on a project to automate SAP application. And before starting the development, you need to create a new branch for development called dev or development. And then you complete the development. Right now, after completing your development, after completing the changes, you proceed with the commit and push the changes to the that specific development branch. Now, after that, you need to create a pull request with a detailed description of what you have done and why this is required to merge that code to the master branch to the main branch so that then that code can be moved to the production. Now, after creating a pull request, the next step is to review the code. Now, who reviews the code? Code reviewer reviews the code. And who is that code reviewer? So, code reviewer can be a senior developer or a developer also who has the good knowledge of the complete architecture, the framework of that specific technology, it means on the UI path, or it can be a solution architect or anyone who is assigned as a code reviewer. Now, what code reviewer does? So code reviewer reviews the code and provide the feedback if needed, else he approves the pull request. Now, after approves the changes, the pull request is merged into the main branch called master branch. So that development one will be merged with the main branch. Now, what is the benefit of doing this one? The benefit is your code is thoroughly reviewed and tested before being integrated. Second, the team benefits from the code reviewers experience and ensuring high quality code. Team receives valuable feedback and helping improve their skills. And the main code remains stable and high quality with a documented history of changes. By using pull request, team can maintain a high standard of code quality collaboration and ensure that their projects progress smoothly and efficiently. Now let's do it practically. So in UiPath Studio, so let's say here, this is our project. So let's say I just need to complete the login into this SAP application. I need to develop that part. So let's say what I'm going to do. I'll go to new, click on sequence. I will say launch and login SAP. So SAP underscore launch and login. So this is, I'm working on that. We'll create one workflow. We'll go to this. And for now, I will just take here one log message and here we'll say SAP launch login started. We'll set log label info and here we'll complete our development, whatever things we are doing. Let me add one more thing and here we we'll say, okay, now this is done. So let's assume our development is completed for SAP launch and login. Now after that, we'll save this. Now once you save the changes, you can see here two changes pending here. Now we'll go to the project. We'll just commit this. Launch and login SAP completed, right? And then we'll commit and push. Now this will be moved to the development. So we already have a development branch created. We completed that, right? And we have moved the changes to the development branch. Now we need to create a pull request 
to move to merge this development code with the main branch so we'll go to the github we'll refresh that and then we'll go to the branch select development now you can see here we says that launch and login sap completed now if we'll go to the main branch and now if you see we do not have that commit here because that is not merged yet so we'll go to the development and now we need to create a pull request so how to do that so for that you can see here we have option pull request so we'll click on that and now we'll click on new pull request here you can see the base and compare both is showing as a main we can leave as it is a main but we'll compare with the development change that to development now once we'll change that you will see the changes that you did the commits launch and login sap completed and you can see everything is showing here right now what we'll do we'll click on create pull request here we already have a title if you don't have you can put a, a better title here so that code reviewer can see what you have done and then you can put a description what you have completed so launch and login sap development completed or anything else if you want to write you can write here and then we need to click on create pull request now once we'll create a pull request so based on the settings based on the rules you will get here some uh, message like let's say pull request created and then waiting for code reviewer to review that code here we do not have any rules set up like that you can see here this branch has no conflicts with the base branch merging can be performed automatically it means we do not have any rules set here to reviewed by any developers or any code reviewer but if you if you are working in a company there you need to uh, basically add that person that code review email id and that that request will be sent to that specific code that code reviewer now that code reviewer will review that code they will see that and then they will cl click on that approve right once it will approved then you will get this message that re ready to merge now we'll click on merge pull request okay now you need to click on confirm merge now once we'll click on confirm merge this has been merged with the main branch this commit into the main now you can see this has been merged with the main branch if you think that you did mistake revert that so you need to again create a new pull request to revert the changes so again code review or someone will approve that the revert then you will able to revert that now here you have successfully merged the code to the main branch now the next step after merging the code from development or from any branch to the main branch the best practice to delete the branch so we'll click on delete branch so what will happen the development branch will be deleted so we clicked on that and now this has been deleted if you want to restore that you can again restore that one and now you can see here launch and login sap completed this has been merged right this workflow has been added now now also you will see the development branch has been deleted so best practice is always delete the branch once your work is done you merged with the main branch and now after that you can move that code to the production like you are ready to like publish a code to the uipath orchestrator and then use that package thank you for watching this video i hope this video helped you understand what pull request is and how to create pull request in github if you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe if you have any question or suggestion feel free to leave them in comments below until next time happy learning